New this morning, a new survey, the results of which are not kind and also also hit pretty close to home. All right, according to the survey, D.C. is home to a couple of the ugliest buildings in the United States, including uh, number one, not just in the U.S., in the world. And that, that's, you know, Bob, if we're going to do things, let's do them right, right? I mean, forget about this ugliest in the city or the country. Let's be the ugliest in the world. Come on, let's do it. And, and I, I feel bad because I think I'm hearing some weeping from this building. Its feelings are hurt. This is the J. Edgar Hoover building. It is headquarters to the FBI right here, uh, dedicated in 1975. The uh, purveyors of this survey say, look, this is just tons of cement and a bunch of windows. Uh, let's show you what this building looks like on a sunnier day. It is headquarters to the FBI. It's a blocky, brutalist monolith, according to Build World, which is this building supply company that used Twitter to do this survey. Uh, also on the list at number four in the U.S. is the Watergate Hotel Office and Condo Complex, site of the uh, great political scandal. Uh, it is fourth on the list. Number two, the second ugliest in the U.S. is the Boston City Hall, said to be ugly on the inside and out. That is number three. That is the Verizon Building in New York City. It's been around since the early 1900s. The Denver International Airport there. And the Trump Hotel in Las Vegas are also on the list of the ugliest buildings, not only in the U.S., but in the world. The ugliest in the world, according to this survey, is this, the Scottish Parliament that is in Edinburgh, Scotland. And the ugliest outside of the U.S. and the U.K. is this. It's a hotel in North Korea. It's called the Hotel of Doom. It's never actually been opened, even though construction began 35 years ago. Now, according to this survey, all of these buildings, including the FBI headquarters here, are, are global eyesores. And again, they used Twitter, put in the names of some of these buildings, and got reactions and uh, compiled this list. So two of the ugliest in the country are right here in D.C., but we also have some of the most beautiful architecture as well. Yeah, yeah, but today we're focusing on the ugly. You know, Bob, back in, in, in my old, <laughs> old true. travel days, uh, before the Berlin Wall came down, I, I went to some of the former Soviet bloc countries. A lot of the construction is very reminiscent of what you're seeing hmm. behind you, and, and now you go to some of those places and they kind of playfully call it communist chic, you know, is, is ah. the way that they look at it. But this building behind you, it surprises me because it was, this was built in the 60s, right? So why would you want it to look like that? Yeah. Then? And who knows if they did it for safety reasons. It's also not that attractive around the perimeter because they've got a lot of these, like, concrete barriers to kind of keep anything from yeah. uh, going too close yeah. to the building. You, d you don't know why they would do it. With such beautiful architecture just down the street, why build something Maybe. like this? Who knows? And someone probably got paid a lot of money to design that. Well, yeah, I feel for the person who designed it. It's like yeah. your work is among the ugliest in the world. My right. goodness. So, you know, they're terrible. talking about, obviously, the new FBI headquarters. <laughs> now the designers are going to be like, oh, boy, we got we to gotta go back to the drawing board and make this thing look pretty. <laughs> Step up our game now. we got to redo all right, Bob, thank you. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. They, they call it brutalism for a reason, right? That's yes. the style of architecture. Appropriate name. Uh